Hi everyone. Um, I'm kind of sweaty and gross looking because I just went for a run outside and it's like 70 degrees. But while I was on my run, I stopped to stretch like not even a quarter mile away from my dorm. And I looked at my phone or whatever and I had a notification that I won a lottery ticket for Phantom of the Opera. Which, if you don't know, has been on Broadway for like, I don't even know how long. It's been like forever. And it's going off Broadway literally in like 10 or 12 days is the last show. And I just, I've been entering the lottery for like weeks now, every single time. And I want a ticket, so I'm so, so excited to go. Because it's just like, I feel like it's like the classic Broadway show. So I'm like so excited. I'm so lucky that I won one. Yeah, so maybe I'll like film, a l obviously not the show, that's not allowed. But like, I don't know, the theater and stuff. I'm so, it's like so cool. So I will be at the theater tonight for, well, it's not tonight anymore if you end up seeing this, but I will be at the theater tonight as of right now to see Phantom of the Opera. Yay! Hi everyone. This is the makeup minus the lip gloss that I'm going to be wearing to the show. And the hair, which actually my hair looks decent down, even though I literally just went for a run, which is really strange. But for my outfit, I have on this. Um, I actually have on like a collared type of little shirt under a romper. The romper has these kind of like puff sleeves. You can barely see it because it's all black. But um, it used to all be like my band concert black. When I was in high school but it's like the fancy kind of stuff that I have here and then I'm going to wear my um, Steve Madden loafers haven't decided on socks yet that's a tricky decision and I have this little purse that I'm gonna bring I am so excited but I'm currently I still have to go eat dinner and I'm trying to decide if I should walk wearing this and I feel like I shouldn't because number one I might see someone I know and they will ask me why I'm dressed so nice which wouldn't be that bad but number two what if I spill food on it number three what if it gets really sweaty so I guess I'm gonna have to change out of it but I have to like zip it back up to put it on which is kind of annoying so yeah i think i'm just gonna put on like shorts and a t-shirt and am i messing my hair now maybe i'll just keep on the the shirt and just put on shorts to go eat and then yeah that makes sense and i need to print something um really quick at the library yeah, because I, I kind of have a little bit of work that I need to do, but I have to go to the show, guys. So anyways, that is, yeah, I'm just going to go get dinner and do my homework. Hi, everyone. Um, turn of events, which I'm not excited about. Um, so I thought that the sh show that I got tickets for was tonight, but it's actually for tomorrow at 2 p.m. and I have class at 2 and 3 30 and 5 <laughs> and I would miss definitely all of those classes and I'm also just annoyed because I got like basically ready to go tonight and now it's not tonight it will be tomorrow so, I don't know. I really want to go tomorrow, and I think I'm still going to. But now I have to, like, miss class, which stresses me out, and I literally have not done the entire time I've been here. So I am still excited to see the show, but I'm not excited 
that now I have to miss class to see it. Yeah, that's the situation. I guess I'll update you guys if I come to a decision. Yeah, I'm just feeling very, like, angry at myself, I guess, because I didn't, like, read the print to tell me when the show was. So, yeah. I think I'm still gonna go tomorrow, though. I just have to actually get myself to not worry about missing class and enjoy the show. So. Hi everyone! Um, I just got back from the show. Well, actually, I went to the Manhattan campus right after to eat dinner and then I came back. Um, it was so good, you guys. Play bow right here. Yeah, so good. I'll show you a quick what's in my bag because I bought this nice little purse. First of all, my student ID, my room key, AirPods for the subway ride, wasn't that long, my wallet, my ponytail and bracelets that I always have on my wrist, I took them off so I would look fancier, and then I have hand sanitizer, lip gloss, lip balm, And then, this is my ticket. I'm actually, this is a silly reason to be glad I won the lottery, but they give you an actual ticket when you win the lottery instead of like you just having to print off like a barcode. So now I have an actual ticket, which is so lovely. And then this is the little sheet of like who was in the show when I saw it. So the phantom for my show was Jeremy Stoll. Um, Christine was played by Julia Udine. Udine? I don't know how you would say that. Guys, it was so good. I This is the most cliche thing you can say about like a show or a work of media, but I literally laughed and cried. I'm a big like concert band music nerd, so I cried literally from the beginning, from the overture, because I just love music a lot. So... Yeah, I basically was crying immediately. Oh my gosh, so good. Christine, so Julie Rudine's voice was incredible. The costumes too were so cool. Like, I mean, I've seen like pictures of their costumes before, but they were so, so good. Like, so, so good. <sighs> yeah. Also, um, so I won the ticket lottery, so I didn't know where I was gonna be sitting. And I literally got, my seat was in the orchestra. I was in row A, which was actually 
the third row. So I was I was all the way on the right, but I was three rows away from the stage. Such a good seat. Like literally incredible. I'm so so lucky. It was just so good. I have been thinking, I was thinking about this after I saw it. I was like, that was really, really good. How many Broadway musicals have I seen and in what order would I rank them? So I think that my ranking would go um, first place Wicked. I love Wicked. Second place, Phantom. And those two I feel like could be interchangeable. I mean, I saw Wicked like four years ago. So, you know, I don't know. I probably wouldn't remember. But Wicked, I cried a lot when I saw it. And that was at a point in my life when I literally would never cry. So I feel like that's a good sign that it was a really, really good show. At the point in my life that I'm at now, I cry at anything that's like vaguely sad, even just a little bit. So I did cry at Phantom, but it's not as much of a telltale sign that it was that good. But it, I mean, it was still really, really good. So anyways, Wicked first, then Phantom, then Hamilton, I would say. Hamilton was really incredible and the choreography was good, but I feel like Wicked and Phantom, just like the costumes and like the music, I don't know. Hamilton is obviously good and very original, but I feel like I'm a classic musical kind of person at heart. So... I love Hamilton, I know every single word to every song, but I feel like in terms of the show, Wicked and Phantom were better. And then fourth place, I have seen The Lion King, and I think I talked about this in a different video, but I just, I don't remember liking it that much. I can't really remember any details about it that I really love, so yeah. Thanks for joining me on this impromptu little vlog, if you're still here in the video. Literally crazy. I know one of the clips I filmed last night, I was considering like, I was like really stressed because I thought that it was gonna, the show that I won was last night and then it was during my classes today and I was like, do I go to the show? Do I go to my classes? Which, now that I think about it, I feel like was such a silly thing. Because, like, I think back to high school and people would, like, skip. Not, well, they would skip. And, like, their parents would call them in and say, like, oh, my daughter is going to the Harry Styles concert, so she's not going to be at school. Like, and also people literally just skip class in college all the time. So why would I not miss class to go see this show that's literally incredible? So yeah, I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to go. I never really introduced myself at the beginning of this vlog, but if you liked listening to me talk, if you like, um, this is not really the content that I normally make, I guess, but New York vlog content or book content or anything like that, or if you just like to listen to me talk, as I always say, um, subscribe to my channel or go and check out one of my other videos to listen to me talk even more. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'm probably going to go listen to the Phantom of the Opera soundtrack now. But I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!